All right, guys. A few of you guys reached out, wanted my input on this drama with landlord tenant issue. Here's my thoughts. I'm just having my dinner, and a few of you guys have reached out already. Like, a few of you guys, a lot of you guys actually. So, I'm a landlord. Um, so I'll look at it from a landlord's point of view and a tenant's point of view, and uh, let's get started. All right, so let's go and share out this video and uh, get it going. It's pretty long, actually. So let's go. So this is the aftermath of these uh, people uh, not paying them after living in my place. Uh, they was not pay my house for five months, so I found that. I should beat them out of the house. Uh, this is what they left me with. This house is full of mess. They are some filthy ass animals. I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, uh, a little bad language there. Uh, don't get the kids around to, uh, to hear this. Um, first thought is he's already got the sheriff to kick him out. Obviously. Probably not in California. I don't know these guys. I don't know anything about this <clears throat> story. Uh, but um, very got the sheriff kicked him out. There's obviously there's already good reasons. So uh, uh, that's, that's, I see a lot of mess there. But uh, let's get going. Fly. So this is what it looks like. My doors are all painted. Uh, Damn! Look at those doors. They actually let the kids uh, scribble all around it. Also, it goes falling apart. Um, yep, this is something left my house. Yep. First thought, how they left the house. Um, I'm thinking the sheriff kicked them out, so um, they probably didn't have time to get out. So that's probably why I always like that. So. Here we go. Filthy animals live in my house. See? They are so filthy. Left my house like this. Not tea in them. Filthy animals. I see a power cord. I see a nice table there. That has like a $200 table there <laughs> oh look at that i see uh one of those uh <clears throat> dollies those things are expensive too dude just keep it well there's money right there got a bottle baby bottle soccer ball all right They didn't think I was going to be able to get them out of my house, but I sure did, and yep, I sure didn't like it. So this is all the mess. That's a, that's a washer or a dryer out there. Pretty cool. Keep that. And left in the backyard, which, uh, <laughs> with car comes, all this would be paid for. Now he's talking about court. <clears throat> court comes. He's already kicking him out. So I'm thinking maybe he's doing like a small claims court or something like that. Uh, if I was a landlord, uh, I haven't seen the rest of it, but it looks like it's just, it's just trash. We'll see what happens here. Um, I don't know. A lot of weed. It's pretty high weed. That means the backyard has not been taken care of for like few months get a weight system over there damn whoever rented the house good luck 
Those fuck, fucking filthy animals. Fuck your husband. They claim to be so rich and so much money. They're a bunch of filthy animals. They fucked up my cabinet, my whole cabinet here. Look at my cabinet up there. It's all lift up, raw now. These animals. Look at that. Oh my God, these animals. Talk about them too much. Wow. Okay. Huh. By the way, um, Land Lieutenant, <clears throat> is that there's some sort of water damage <clears throat> like this scenario. You're supposed to uh, let the landlord know. The, um, some people did mention something about there's the story behind it. Let me just hear what he has to say first. Well, both sides has to hear about this. But, um, yeah, let's let's hear about this first. Too much. But, uh, yep. Look at that shit. David stole my fridge. <laughs> ah, what a punk. Took his fridge. Damn. Look at my doors. Damn. Wow, this is just downstairs. I wonder how it looks like upstairs. And then the garage, no lights either. Oh man, did come a light? Yep. Oh, Nyati. Yeah, I thought you got a place up, bitch. You got shit. Hey, he's got some nice shelves. You keep. <laughs> nice place. You got a. You get a tankless water heater. Nice place. I'm not let you slide with nothing. Power's party out because <clears throat> they shut it off. So, <laughs> steer me worried about power. Yep. Very too, very too damaged. <sighs> Actually, it doesn't look bad at all. This is like a normal um, tenant move out in a bad neighborhood. Yep. They're so broke. They even stole my washers and dryer. That's how broke they are. What's this? It's gone back. They even stole my washer and dryer. What a... <laughs> uh, talking about y'all rich. Calm down. I'll be mad too. Oh, yeah, of course. I don't want y'all junk. That I had you guys out of my house. Damn. This is normal. You kick people out. You see tons of mattresses. Yeah, it's probably office tracks. Room number two. Um, so just look over here. Nice place, though. Nice wall color. Nasty five. Should we get touching? Kiss room. Uh, oh, that looks all right. Kind of got a bunch of things here. There's a little bit of a countertop, which is pretty much dirty. Damn, leather, shampoo, and stuff. All right, next room. You can tell the guy that's a pretty nice place because all the, the light switches has those um, timer on there. Those things are like 20 bucks, 30 bucks a pop. Look at the light switches. <laughs> yeah, you get one of those uh, plastic doors. Those things are like 20 bucks. Take right. it, bro. Pretty much destroyed this place. It was brand new. When I moved out of here, I took care of it really good. I repaint all the walls, make sure it looks brand new. 
<clears throat> and look at Yachty and the bear. What is that? That's disgusting. Oh my God. Damn. I'm talking about you're clean, you're rich, you have money. You ain't got shit. That's normal. Foot awesome. mattresses you look like that. <laughs> I see them all the time. Off, act like you guys are rich. You guys are fucking filthy as fuck. Fucking filthy ass fucking animals. He's kind of mad. Thank God you guys are out of my house now. Sounds like uh, he lived there and he uh, he fixed it up. Are you drunk, Rich? You could? Like, what kind of shit is that bad? God damn, that's some nasty shit. <laughs> oh, disgusting. Is that a mole hat right there? So disgusting. Huh. They stole my washer and dryer. <laughs> ah, this motherfucker talking about, oh, we got our own washer and dryer, nice, and this and that. They stole my fucking washer and dryer, bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. When I run out places, I don't. They poke some holes in my walls. Mm. <laughs> uh, oh, that looks like a, like a uh, chow gate. Child gate to uh, yep. the stairs. There we go, downstairs. Yeah, it looks like a child gate for the stairs to go downstairs. I wonder how many kids I got in the house. Tell you guys, man. Do not rent your place to these motherfuckers. Not to you, them. I hear a smoke detector yeah. beeping. This house. That means nobody's house taking care of the house. Ship, uh, shippy. They have not even been here longer than a year. First six months, that would damage my house. Valley, my cabinet's over there. Damn. Now, First six months? A year later, almost a year, the house already looks like shit. It was brand new when I got it. Hmm. Yeah. Fire look like that. We got yeah. tons of kids. Actually, that doesn't look so bad. I've seen worse with my rentals. Oh, so that looks like it. <clears throat> looks like he's mad. So uh let me uh let me pull up the the next one is the I think it was like 40 minutes, man. Dang, you guys want me to watch through that and give me a little comment on that? Uh, remember, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a whatever. You know, I'm just here to entertain you guys and eating my dinner and uh, just listening and watching this and giving my comments because I know a few of you guys reached out. And uh, if you guys are watching this, um, we're part of the Mon Real Estate Investors Group. We got landlords and we got investors in there. So um, some of you guys are learning to be landlords and stuff like that. This is just my commentary on, you know, as a landlord, what I see and and uh, see this side from the tenant to the landlord. So from this guy's point of view, he's pissed off. Of course, he could be pissed off. I don't know what the situation was um, that, you know, it, they didn't leave it properly. But he kicked them out. So <clears throat> obviously, there's a pretty hard reason. And the court wouldn't, you know, well, the sheriffs wouldn't come out. Is you know, it was pretty much something major. So it's probably something major. Mostly just not paying, so that's usually it. Let's take a look at the take a look at the um, um, the tenant side. This is somebody sent out uh, the video for me. Um, so let's take a look. It's like forty four minutes, guys. I might have to skip through some of it. So let's go. It doesn't matter how much it costs, okay? But Lona, <laughs> <laughs> 
啊，入水不受龙的，一出火杀火的那个，你不破这道水，我见，你有可能啊，是咩啊？你就那见，我听你说这讲了呀，就不打的不是打的，那是嘛？啊，受啊，那火火杀火杀，某某经验的呢 ？Yes， 啊，不要做少的经验的做杀猪呢 ，OK， 不要做少的经验做杀猪的 ，OK。我呢就嚟保住我只，你睇到即系唔错，住做到三度啦 ，OK？ 即系学得明，嘛，你知你知啊，就学啲啊，啲知识你都知人哋啦，嗱，又，你住落幺三都住得好，啊啊，你做边都仲我怕你个啦 ，OK？ 仲我怕你个。我先啦，上面啲種我先啦，啲事嘛，我先啲種咧就就就就放我先啦，你先寫我依套嘢，嗰時嘛寫啊，到公司啊 ，OK， 唔需要啲啦，嘛即係到公司啊。Yeah, he say he's leaving stuff, trash for、um, the landlord. Ah,、uh, that pretty much means you can keep that stuff, sir. <laughs> you can keep the the weight machine, the the nice two hundred dollar desk I see there. I think I saw a mon hat on the ground,、um, all that kind of stuff. So if you say you left that, that's yours, man. So. 我啊，我到三个三个，哎，啊，你信啊，你莫等人啊，他又不拒绝，他就在啦 ，OK， 所以，三海就不一样，哎，就到空啦，就到空里，就翻面的到啦，我，啊，我就不落，我就落晒 ，OK， 就这样，就这样，啊，个落落，个嘛哩啊，啊，就在，啊，就这样，所以，三我落 ，sometimes 就是打来，就是 sometimes 哎呀，啊，就是累。Yeah. So with landlords, guys, are you landlords? Any sign of water leak, any little drop is bad. So get that resolved, because if that gets under wood or anything, that's already a bad sign. So you landlords here, water is always a bad sign. So he said it was leaking, and he's gonna blow it off. Nah,、uh, never do that.、Uh, whatever that was happening in the street, and then blew sato sana. Okay, so.、Um, So, we try to do things like that. Try to, yeah, try to do it. Ah, actually, um, not be too tired. Try to do something to do. Ah, try. Okay. So, not be too tired. Yeah, yeah, try to try it. Okay. And、uh, here, this is this is our tax. Okay, our tax between、uh, you and me. Okay, try. Okay, go ahead. Go to try to sing. Ah, okay, go to go to try to sing. Go ahead. Go ahead. No idea. 你只要过海，呃，路索，你要过海呢 ，OK，OK，OK， 个车个车呢 ，This is your text，OK，、okay? some more your your text， and I'm gonna read it to you guys，OK，This、okay? is what Sa text me，OK，I、okay? 
I checked out the sink and it's not looking good. The damage is beyond my repair. It's going to cost a couple thousand dollars to fix it. I really don't know what to say, but it's going to come out of your pocket, okay? Sa, 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 okay? Okay, T's gonna gain popularity, okay? So thank you, Sa. But, you know, um, as you know, as a landlord, you know your responsibility. I know my responsibility, okay? Yeah, he's kind of right on that. Um, okay? It is also the responsibility of the, the tenant to um, to watch over you. Make sure you guys, your landlords have that in your contract. That is their responsibility to take care of uh, if there is an issue. Um, I like I have in my contract, like <clears throat> try to prevent it as much as possible. Um, but um, but as a landlord, you should always if there's a, some sort of water leak, always get on it. So, but he is kind of right. The tenant is kind of like uh, right that he already reported it. They came out and fixed it. The issue is still there. Um, you know. He's supposed to come and uh, resolve it. So uh, I don't think it's kind of fair to throw it back on the tenant. I don't know about, you know, whatever landlord laws, laws are with them, but floor laws, it's kind of our responsibility as a landlord to take care of that kind of stuff. Okay. And this is, this is what I text you. Okay, I text side, okay? You guys can screenshot and read it. Okay. Pretty smart. Always have some sort of documentations or trail okay, so about conversations. Uh, about, the, about the sink problem. This is what I will say, okay? If the damage was done intentionally or accidentally by, by me or my family, then I am more than happy to pay for the cost of repairing. However, if it's a wear and tear damage, I will not be paying for it. You already worked on the issue multiple times, okay? You already worked on the issue multiple times, okay? Trying to repair only by yourself, okay? When I suggested to you to have expert look at it because you already tried to repair multiple times, okay? I suggest that we need to get an expert to look at it to fix the problem, okay? So now that the problem with the sink is worsened, it will only continue to get worse unless someone who knows what they are doing take care of it. And at your cost, okay, at your cost, you can have it repaired, replaced, or not, okay? Um, this is what I will do. If it's an issue that will harm uh, my family because of wear and tear and you will not take care of it, I will call an expert to take care of it, and I will have to deduct whatever the cost from the rent. Okay, and this is what I yeah. And, and Florida can't do that. You can't. A tenant can't just say, "Hey, I want to. So I'm gonna have somebody fix it, and then uh, take it out of my rent." That's not legal. So uh, I don't know where he's at, but that's not legal. But uh, let's continue. Well, I texted you okay our conversation to Kisana, okay and this is this is way back in in january 9th okay in january 9th okay so it isn't just you know happened yesterday okay so i think it was what so, august um, now they're in january with a this is what sat texted me back issue okay that's this that's, is what sat texted that's me long back. you should not have water damage for that long sat said, Instead of we get mold saying, and everything. Sorry, the sink got damaged. You want to point finger? The house was damaged in your possession while you are living there, which means you are reliable for the damage. Okay, Sa, you claim to know the law. Sa, Sa, okay. I don't claim to know the law, but I do claim to know my responsibility. Okay, so my responsibility is yes, I live in warehouse. I pay the. Yeah, we don't quite know what's going on here. 
if he if he said I me, mean, we're not looking at the text, but if he said he came out and it was because of the the dishwasher disposal, which I've seen a leak. Uh, I've done replacement on those. Uh, they do leak. But I'm sure he if he left, if he left, obviously he's he thought probably thought he fixed it. But if uh but if it was fixed and then there's a new issue, then we don't know that because we, we're not looking at the text. So let's keep that um on the back of your head going. Maybe he's talking about something else. I don't know. But ultimately, still needs to get fixed. Landro still needs to come out there, you, you know, and take a look at it. Right? Because that's your property. Yeah, it's like uh, if you say you live there and you're something up. Some states, I mean, the, like this is always an issue because you don't know the laws between each states. But ultimately, you know, you can't just throw everything on the on the tenant. You know, the, the landlord has to have some sort of liabilities. That's kind of what's going on. I think the landlord is saying, you're in possession now. You're supposed to take care of it. Um, well, maybe he doesn't know how to take care of it. So you still have some sort of responsibility in taking care of it. It's probably only like less than a thousand dollars to fix. As a landlord, just fix it. You want to keep your tenants happy. And keep paying you. This is your text, okay? This is your text. You send it, okay? So, um, uh, okay? Whoever that installed this sink, whoever that installed this didn't do didn't do a, a good job, okay? So um okay, okay. okay. That's part mold. Guys. That's not good. Yeah. If it's black like that, it's probably been uh, moldy. Because the problem over time, the water continues to leak into the bore, and the bore. Um, <coughs> All right, let's move on. Swollen. Okay, the we all say that. So, so, we all say that we pay me at the cost. Okay, then, okay. Then, uh, so I watch me, uh, so I'm up and then go down. Okay, they go have the side. Hey, um, we all say that. So, so, we all say that. Yeah, a couple of guys mentioned me about that, asked me about that. I have no clue what he's talking about, the 1099 stuff. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's, so if, I, I, I think what he means because he's i think what he does is some sort of business um from what you guys are saying 
they do some sort of business. I'm thinking he's rent. He's using that as the the place to rent as a business. So, but like a 1099 is usually when when you as you paying somebody, a contractor, right? And you give them a 1099, right? So I don't know what he's talking about there. So if so so let's say they have a business, <clears throat> uh, and they're renting the place, they they're using that place that that rental as a place of business, you just write it off at expense. That's it. You, you don't need to kind of report it or, or, or anything. So I don't, I'm not sure what he's asking there. So. So it's kind of like, uh the so he's asking for a landlord to give him a 1099 but he has to give the landlord a w9 that still doesn't make sense no clue what he's talking about so just rephrase that one more time i'm the landlord if i contracted somebody to come and fix the roof i give them a 1099 they gave me a W-9 saying that this is their tax ID and stuff like that. So he's, if he's doing a place of business inside the house, there's, you know, you just write that all as an expense. So um, hopefully that clears it up, clears it up for you guys. I'm a little lost about 1099. 1099 is only for someone who works and does work for me. For me. Uh, you're a tenant. It's not relevant for you as a tenant. Uh, you have uh, accountant, uh, have your accountant call me anytime, okay? Can you respond to that? Can you respond like, yeah, hey, 1099 is for any individual that I pay money to, okay? Doesn't matter, I pay you rent. I pay you rent and that is my expense, okay? My expense, so when I pay you rent, that comes out of my expense. That's gonna go to my tax, okay? It don't matter. So I pay you more than $600 right there, okay? Anytime I pay anyone over, the, over $600, okay? I'm gonna give you 1099, okay? So, uh, yeah, he needs to check with his account or get a better account. Okay, I that I'll be able to get out of the house and by March 6, okay? So, and this is still way back in February, okay? So it looks like he's kind of forcing him out. I don't know what the lease is. He's got a right to stay. If his lease says, you know, he's there for two years, he's got the right to stay there for two years. So I don't know what's going on here. <clears throat> in February, uh, beginning of the month of February, okay? So we will actually just talk with the receipt. I have no receipt because the fact that such is how much receipt of the law because type of the Kenyan voting goes enough. Always get a receipt, guys. Um, whatever the always get a receipt. I know he's going through, uh, you know, whatever situa situation with his, uh, his, his, his wife. Okay, so he doesn't want his wife to know that he's giving money <laughs> for rent. Okay, come on, landlord. Um, anything that can be uh, trial, trial paper back to them. He was a tenant. Money order from you need paper trail because so they can get you. They can get you for not paying rent, even though you did pay it. Because I need paper trail. Okay, I don't want I don't want problems with me. Okay, whatever his issue, that's him. Okay, but my issues, I don't want I don't want I don't want none of that. So. I want paper trail on my part. Okay? Whatever, whatever he does with this, that's up to him. Okay. 
so next next comment hello la ke ni kya na ve kuch to ni ni ta comment la okay and top la wo shen de uh mari la pe ni i do now okay so within the uh um so che uh to make a a a sign up okay che man is not just a uh, a personal check okay i went to the bank and got him money order okay money order from the bank and pay to him for the rent okay why so this is this is right here don't wait too far man just write a check uh february okay february rent okay so february uh 2021 rent okay so we so saw all that all that uh, money order now okay we so saw all that money order um uh the, the first Okay, is is money order right there? You can see it says money order. Okay, so we talk to how such a social as I can. Hey, I only want cash. Okay, so whatever whatever the the story is, you know, with him. Okay, it doesn't matter to me. But I told him, hey, I'm not gonna give you cash. Okay, I need paper trail on my part. So whatever you want to do, do you want this money or not? You know, it's up to you. So, or such a social thing, um, until you have to stop it, hey, give me your address, which is odd, or not that you call it, because he came over to the house and we kind of argued a little bit. It's kind of so weird. I didn't want the tension to build. Why is he sending his address? Um, most lease, so you guys, when you guys do a lease, make sure there's um, contact and contact where mailing address we can send the rent to uh, it should stay in the lease wh where you pay how you pay it right either they give you options like you pay it through the bank or pay it through online or mail it to a certain location so this must be like a private where they just shook hands and say okay then you you just come stay or something i don't think there's a lease on this one always get a lease guys so you can define how you're gonna stay all right it's a business. So I told Make you it like a business, guys. I was sent to him. You know? So, Satavi, uh, I did, uh, Sama, the more to know my more. Oh, damn it. I never got an address from him. Okay? So, I didn't, I didn't have an address, so I couldn't send out the check. Okay? So, I held on to it. And then, uh, I told him to come and pick it up. Okay? So, um, Okay. So I waited all day, all day for his son to come and pick up the money. Okay. He didn't show up. And somehow, just right at the moment when I left to the store, to go get something at the store. His son show up, okay? His son show up, and uh, his son asked my wife, okay? The wife had told Sato Tuke, oh, hey, she no go, um, no go, 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 no and he left okay i got back okay if you're waiting for money i got back and um, if you can get money wait for the money uh, i get a text message a text message from, from Sa. okay um so let me find the text message okay well anyways i'll just explain so the text message basically said <coughs> hey, you lied to me you said i can pick up the check anytime obviously you're lying to me you're not there my son was there you didn't get the check for my son. So the tension kind of built more and more. Okay? Of course, we don't know. We don't know what's going on. Hey, look, we weren't there. Don't come to the house anymore. You know, because we're going to we're gonna argue. I don't like the way things are going right now. So if it's your Toshina. Just mail to God. Just you come and pick up the check. I'm There's many ways to get the money. Mail the check. PayPal. Uh, Venmo. Dude, there's so many ways, guys. Come on, this is like petty stuff. Not there. Well, 
I'm there, do not pick a number check. So here it is, okay? Give me your address, I will send it to you. Okay, I will send it to you, I will send it to a mail certified. Just make sure you sign it and you get it, okay? So that was the problem here, okay? So, uh, such that more I actually, uh, until not a good deal, he ducking. Landlord is ducking. Okay. So, dude, just set up a PayPal, bro. March, okay, comes in March. I um, also got money order. Okay, as you can see there, two says, months. Um, for March rent. Okay, so. So I keep records of what I pay him, okay? So how's he getting the money to a guy then? To such more receipt of law, which you cannot because I have receipts for my part, okay? So um, for five months, I haven't paid rent. You know, look, I fucking keep records, okay? So, I don't know if you know your numbers, okay? March, this is May, okay? That's five months for you, okay? You know, the last one is the last one. Okay? Let's see if you can pass up to share the name, okay? That's it, Julie, yeah, okay? We don't share the name. We don't know how to move on or get the same name, okay? So, you know, let's see if you can pass up to share the name, okay? Let's see if you can pass up to share the name, okay? Let's see if you can pass up. Five months of missed rent? I don't know. Is that what he's saying? Yeah. So, anyways, um, ก็สัจจะเอ่อจุกกรรมเชญญ์เนาะนะจุกกรรมเชญญ์เนาะเกเกว่าสัจเอ่อตออีตุปนิยะตัวอีตุปนิยะตัวเนี่ยตัวเน
he texts me, okay? And I will read it out loud. So, so I text with you. Um, I sent my younger brother uh, to collect the money because I was unable to, okay? That's my property. You rent is overdue. I want to. Uh, I want you to understand that I'm really patient with you and give you plenty of time to pay and respond back. If I have to take further action, I will. Okay, whatever whatever he meant by that, further action. Okay, whatever he meant by that, I don't know. I don't know what his <clears throat> action or what actually he's eviction. Doing, but what this is what I do know. I see his eviction. Okay, the line the line the the line 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 I don't know if they're texting the guys, hey, I'm coming to pick up the rent or something like that. I don't, we don't know that, right? It's because you don't have a all of his phone. But uh, let's assume that didn't happen. Oh, well, you know, somebody is trying to come attempt. But that's like, was it five months already? I don't know. Uh, there's got to be something. We're missing something here. Some, something we're missing right here. But let's move on. Brother, send me. Okay. Okay. Individual and then he hugged me, he talked to me, he said, Um, just give it the money. Hey, talk on the gun, he said, I'm in the gun, he said, So, that's how good, no, he's on the love, okay, I'm in the way of the thing, he just asked him, I'm in the way of the thing, okay, and then some more feeling that said, You know, he's on the love, I'm in the gun, okay, he's on the shed, if I say, and now, okay, so, who are actually, uh, Tilly, um, May help police report now, okay? Because I don't know who else he's gonna send, okay? So I made a police report, you know, okay? Because he finally gave me an address on that day, that particular day that I did the police report. He texted me his address, okay? <laughs> Hopefully it's his address, okay? I don't know, but it's here, okay? Where the yellow block, his address, okay? Okay, so um, I text, you know, I Probably find online, guys. Okay, yeah, let's move on. Okay, so long story short, okay, so we decided, oh, hey, you know, 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 Okay, so your your deposit is not even enough to cover the cost of the seat. Okay, so that right there, I'm not even gonna argue. Okay, that right there, I already know that that and the deposit. All right, so you landlords, that's a flaw. Don't do that. You want to at least get them out first, and then you can discuss whatever. The, the, the best thing is just to get tenant out first. Um, 
so you don't there's any any damage or any problems. Uh, if you stir things up, then it's, always, it's gonna take longer. So the the best tip for you landlord here is just to keep your mouth shut. Let them say they're gonna get out and let them leave, and then you can deal with the deposit, take it all out, whatever. And the deposit, you guys don't know how much. It was $1,750 and $1,750, okay? So uh, he wasn't going to, you know, return the deposit no matter what, whether I, I leave or I don't leave, he's not going to return the deposit, okay? So to answer some of your questions, okay, before you guys have the questions, okay, on the video, as you guys can see, side the old looks say, we won't work for time, we will not. It's a part of the video, right, y'all, okay? That was a long term, okay? And that is an issue that Sa didn't fix, okay? That was an issue that the door high year to the office of Ponte with the solution of that. So, much I think in the solution, we, um, you know, the door I know, the more time in the bound is the case, and I'm not going to go into the detail, okay? <clears throat> so, the door left fine, it's not okay? So, the same, that wasn't us, okay? That was sad, okay? Now, coming to the house, why we left the house the way it is, and yes, she told the opinion that so sad to you, okay? He's a hot deal. Look, you kept my deposit, okay? If you kept my deposit, that is your responsibility, okay? You use the deposit money to clean the fucking house. You fucking mental or what? Okay, if you're so mental, return my deposit. I will fucking clean the house for you. Okay, now let's don't do that. So yeah, I mean they purposely left it like that. Okay, you know just just take care of it. You know, sa, just take care of it, and then uh, uh, you can always go after them. So for you landlord guys, you can always go after them for small claims if you think that you know they uh. You deserve more, um, or they damage, and then you want you can always go after them for more to take care of whatever you need to take care of. So, uh, if they think that they they're out because of just the deposit, that's not don't. And if if you tenants are like that, uh, landlords can still come after you. Okay, so don't don't be the bad guy because you could end up losing more money that way. Now let's go to the client. Okay, when I moved into the house, there was no fucking refrigerator. Okay, no fucking re refrigerator. So, why does Sapi, hey, your house don't have a refrigerator? Sapi, oh, when you get in the house, there's no appliance. You have to get your own appliance. Okay, okay look, I'll get an appliance. Okay, and we can have, but if I put an appliance there, when I leave, I'm going to fucking take it. It's like, yeah. oh, no. If you put appliance there when you leave, I'll, you know, you, you leave that point. She said, no, if I put it there, I'm going to take it. If it's yours, you put it there. When I leave, it's yours, okay? So, I fucking put that point there, okay? I give you <laughs> money to buy the fucking refrigerator, son. Okay, that refrigerator is not yours. I give you money. Yeah, <laughs> what's going on here, man? Dude, so as a landlord, if somebody gives you money, uh, why? I mean, just buy on your own. You get that as a tax deduction, you know. But uh, it just this all it should be in a lease. I don't know if there's a lease, like I said, but um, in certain lease that you can say, you know, whatever you install, um, it's mine, right? So, like for instance, a ceiling fan, right? If the ceiling didn't have a fan on there and you put one in, um, and uh, in a lease, I say, hey. You know, whatever you put in as a fixture or whatever, or whatever uh, could be mine, you know, or a fridge or whatever. Um, so it's all in the lease. Everything's documented. But so whenever you sign your lease, make sure you read all of it. You know, if you don't understand, get a lawyer. So um, we don't know what's happening here. So that's kind of what I'm guessing. Uh, Milwaukee, uh, Wisconsin tends to do that a lot. Some of them don't have appliances. Um and so they don't because they gets jacked, you know. So um, it just depends on the, the landlord in this situation. I don't know what the situation is, but let's go. Money, okay. <clears throat> when I left, 
Yeah, the fucking refrigerator. My God. Fuck you, okay? You can go fuck another refrigerator, okay? Anyway, whatever, you know? Thank you, Doc. Okay? Anyway, thank you for this amusement. I'm so kind of how can you see that? Well, but it's easy. I'm not so hard to talk. But yeah, they saw a video. They made me fall. Okay? They made me fall. So they wanted to. Uh, yep, I'm not talking about it. I'm talking about it. I'm talking about it. We use our washer and dryer, okay? So when we when we move out, we fucking take it, okay? Whatever that power, we took it. Now, coming back to answer the question, why the house was left so messy? Yeah, I left it messy for Doc to clean it because he kept my deposit. So I guess there was the, the washer in the back was... Or dry, whatever was the landlord's guys put it back. Come on. So you use the deposit to fucking clean whatever mess that I left behind. Okay. So don't they die? Ching da shit ah. Um. There you go. That's the story. Okay. So who did that? Who did that? That just goes like um. Always leave something better when you leave. Uh, that's my model. So if it's if it was bad and you got there, make sure when you leave it becomes better. Uh, this obviously this is some sort of grudge go on, um, but it can come back and kick you in the ass. You know, so I could just go, all right, I take your deposit, but still I'm gonna come after you with, um, you know, some extra damages to uh, to clean up. So uh, and your landlords, you know. Don't just clean it up yourself. Hire somebody to come out and clean it. And then you can have it as evidence that, yeah, well, I had to hire people to come out and clean it. And then you can kind of throw it onto the courts. And then that's the, probably the best way to do it. Yeah, I $1,750 to clean that house. Pay some people a couple hundred dollars to fucking clean the house, and you'll be left with a bunch of money, okay? So, there you go. Takes more than that. Uh, okay. Okay, so, whatever. You know, feel free to uh, okay? Feel free to look at all that in my internet. Yeah, okay. See the uh, stuff here. So, more, uh, more going on, baby. Yeah, no, so, and uh, what you have done some more the cleaning, okay? Because when I when I moved there, which you thought they are looking, I was only that only that sound of watching them. I so I call uh, a Mexican guy to come and do all the cleaning, and it costs two hundred fifty dollars. Okay, there you go. If you don't know how much it costs. <laughs> To, to clean the carpet, two hundred fifty dollars. Go and do your research on the internet. Or- this is fine, you know. If you um, if you still stay there, that means you have step the cleaning as a tenant, you know. <clears throat> um, so if you had a situation where you're moving in and it's not clean, uh, guys, don't move in first until it's clean the way how you like it. Um, don't come after, don't clean it. Go after the fact, and then try to try to get some money back. It doesn't work that way. But if you moved in already, then you kind of already accepted it as it is. Internet or call somebody <clears throat> from Craigslist, okay? Um, don't don't get a Craigslist. A question B. Okay. Person come clean. Um, oh, any uh, anyone gonna go back to some more page see if it goes live to you? Okay, that's your Mushana. Okay, shout out to Belanger. Okay, I'm not sure if you're here. Okay. Okay, this is why you don't go on Facebook Live because this is going to get recorded and used at court. Yes. And, and that's totally fine. Okay, that's why I, I recorded this and he can also record this okay he can also record this and we can go on to uh to the court 
if he if he wants to okay i'm totally fine with it we can do that with this item i'm going to sort out okay so uh we want to know the level oh the don't do that then yeah wow of course uh up high shop for link shy tv oh she's going to be famous long yes she's going to be fifth if you have your Saki Utuna, okay, Saki Utu, your Utu Ruchin, the Ta, a Uta Ruchin, the Sato Shite, okay, hey, uh, this isn't clean, okay, we're gonna deduct this from the deposit, okay, then I say, sure, I didn't do that correctly, this is how much it's gonna cost, deduct but I remember Sao saying the guy evicted, so I don't know what he's talking and about even here, all the way to the point where if the deposit doesn't cover. I am more than happy to give him money to pay for whatever the cost that damage that I made the deposit money. You take care of it. Whatever. If y'all so rich, why not just buy your own home? Stop renting and destroy <laughs> other uh, property. Oh, okay, my God. Yeah, okay. Um, y'all have the stuff yourself, yeah, you know, you want to. Opinion, what I choose to do, okay? What you choose to do, it's up to you. What I choose, whatever you choose to do with your life. So, okay, is your wife uh, allowing a refund for anyone who recently uh, recently bought from her? Yes, <laughs> uh, don't let your new landlord see this video. I'm would be nervous if I was the new landlord. Oh, Julia, uh, there's always two sides of the story, okay? So if you only hear one side of the stories, um, Julia. That is correct. We'll stop it here, guys. Yeah, there's always two sides of the stories, but ultimately what, what I'm thinking it happened was no payment. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how money's not getting to a landlord. There must be a different side to that. I mean, that's like five months or so with the with the rent uh could be easily solved by just sending me a paypal or memo <clears throat> uh the other issue is the sink um yeah landlord guys if if you have if you hear of any water issue roof um some sort of leak anywhere get on it get on the first day um because it's going to create havoc for you um not much here i mean Thanks, guys, for reaching out to me. Um, not much here. Uh, I, this stuff can be easily solved. Uh, kind of disappointing. Had to be this way between Hmong people, our brothers and sisters. But, um, I mean, it is a landlord-tenant issues, And, you know, uh, you guys wanted me to put my input on it since I did have some some experience in landlord-tenant. Uh, and uh, this is something easily that could get resolved. And... Uh, by some miscommunication, I don't know. I mean, rent not getting for, I mean, if I was the landlord uh, first two months, it would have been an issue already. So they went on this long, something we're missing here. I don't know, but um, that's it. Guys, keep hustling. Don't take this as uh, my tips as anything, but uh, don't take it to court or anything. I'm not a professional lawyer or anything like that. I'm just saying from my experience, and this is how it goes. And keep hustling, guys. All right.